score. Huh? So that's the analysis of AZ along the K vector that's perpendicular to the plane of the iPhone indeed. And um, what we would like to see if that AZ uh, behaves uh, like a uh, theta double dot, that is the second derivative of the angle versus time. And this is essentially looking at the application of the Newton law, that is theta dot equal minus omega to the square theta. So we know theta through AZ, we know theta double dot, so we can check if this differential equation is really uh, fulfilled since we have independently the theta angle from the gyroscope and we have the theta double dot from the accelerometer when we measure AZR. We know it because we measured it before, it's 0.96 meter. So let's have a look on that and first we go to the bare data after summarizing what we want to do now is to compare AZ with R omega to the square theta. So first of all, the measure data directly, so once again we observe the clear and well-defined oscillating behavior, which is no surprise since this is what we have prepared with the iPhone. And as we stopped exciting the uh, iPhone displacement and keeping the end still, then we see that we clearly observed again a relaxation. Now the point is, can we um, directly calculate this curve by using the theta analysis we've done before, and this is the slide now coming. So the comparison of AZ and uh, minus R omega to the square theta is here, and it's rather amazing to see that at this scale we cannot distinguish by eyes very easily the difference between AZ and minus R omega to the square theta. The agreement is something like 5% for most of the point. Uh, we have to say that here we've taken into account AX and the mis misalignment uh, for this data analysis, but this is not in fact a key point at the end. It's interesting to go further in time, and the previous set of data presented were between 90 second and 150 second. If we go further in time and we have a look at the agreements between the theta measurement and the component of the acceleration AZ in time, when we are in the, in the period of time between 150 second and 180 second, then we see that the discrepancies is much more obvious and it just, this error increases with time. This is what we observed here. But nevertheless, it means that uh, we definitely show how good is the differential equation experimentally here verified. Experimental work five now 